Hello all, the next trick in my run. I have here a standard pen. Uh, this is a, uh, what is it called? A Uniball Vision Fine. I have this here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it in a fist, then I'm gonna slowly let go, and lo and behold, when I do a little levitation and wiggling of the fingers, I can get the pen to spin in a concentric circle. See, lo and behold, it's not even attached to anything. Three, two, one, detach. Or I could just get it to work. So this way I could get it to drop at any point I want it to. See? There it goes. How did I do it? Well, I'll let you know in a little secret. Like I said, just to verify here again. Again, the ring which I'm wearing, neither of them is magnetic. Here, I'll even prove it to you. Uh, let's get an independent, uh, let's see, let's get an independent uh, piece of uh, metal here. Um, sorry, just trying to find a uh, coin of some description. Uh, a dime should be sufficient. Can I, ah, here we go. Here you go, as you can see, this is a standard dime. I'm gonna put it up next to the pen. Sorry, metal side, next to the pen. Put dime drops. Let's try it with the ring again. Okay, here's the ring, remember? Ring, sorry, uh, here's the brass ring now. Remember, and the pen, sorry, and the uh, dime. One, two. See? Dime dropped. Dime dropped. Dime dropped when I attempted to touch it to the pen. There's no magnets in either of these two. So how did I manage it? Try to think about it. Or at least, like I said, I showed you that neither of the two is magnetic. So think about it. 